Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to continue working on this five boxes layout responsive. So in uh, the last video, in the first part of this, made a responsive page that took care of tablets. You can kind of see with the background shift. Under large screens we see a fixed background image where we either see a lot of the image or a little of the image, but when we go down to tablets, we see the whole background image and it resizes. Okay, so everything keeps the same basic five boxes layout, but um, the background image shifts. Now I want to take care of this smaller portion right in here where we might get into our iPods our, and our smaller uh, cell phones and things like that, smartphones. So back over to my uh, code editor, and we're simply doing an at media rule okay within our internal styles and this could be done on an external style sheet as well so the next section that I'm gonna work on go and do a comment for myself and this is gonna be my uh, responsive styling I'm not even spelling that properly uh, for smaller phones and iPods. I'm listing iPods because I have an iPod Touch myself and my goal is here is once I get all this published I'll, uh, I'll try to get a, a recording of me going to the site with my iPod and a Nexus 7 just so that we can see that they are working. So I got my responsive styling for that. Okay and like I did before I'm gonna use an at media at media screen and I'm gonna do a max width of 599 pixels because we did min width of 600 pixels before and let's see I'll do a, I'm gonna do a min width not technically necessary to do the min width here because we could just say for anything but I'll go ahead and put a min width of 300 pixels opening curly braces press my enter key a few times closing curly braces okay and right in between these curly braces is where I'm gonna put my rules for my small devices and I'm just gonna head up to my large scale devices and I'll take in a few of the key rules that I want to manipulate. Copy those, paste them down here and I can start to make my changes. So for instance my container I'm gonna knock this down to 90 percent so that way we kinda of get some obvious margins that will stand out to you that it's actually working. I'm gonna change the height to 400 pixels. Now for my max width I can take this down to 599 because yeah, I did 600 before so I can now do 599 for the max width and min width I don't technically need um, but I'll put something in we'll just put down 300 margin is fine now for the big box I'm gonna knock that height down to 430 background image is fine background position size is okay I want to keep size in that background image everything's good there now big changes with the promo boxes before my promo boxes are side by side but I want to change it so they're one on top of the other so I'm gonna make my promo boxes now 100 percent and I'll knock their heights down to 100 pixels and instead of float left I need to do a float none now I can't just delete my float left declaration because I need to negate the previously floating command so I have now to say float none background position all that stuff is fine let's see what's happening now so I'm gonna do a save head back over to my browser and refresh so let's see we have our large scale computer screens then we go to our tablets and now we go to our smartphones and mobile devices and we've got our one on top of the other boxes along with our big box now I have to change the looks like the styling of my or positioning of my hyperlink up here but I think I'll adjust that after the camera and I also notice I don't know if your eye catches these kinds of things I do have a little bit these don't line up exactly I don't know if that bothers you like it bothers me but you know what that's caused by it's caused by some white borders that I had on so, in, on on some of them um, my promo boxes so I want to fix that real quick but that's all the way back up in one of my main here remember I had all these border widths let me go ahead and I'll just copy all of them stick them down here in my smartphone there and border width top right let's get rid of the right border 
top right, top right. Get rid of those right borders. Save that back over here and refresh. Now they line up a little bit better. So there's our iPod and uh, smartphone. Then we have tablets and then we have widescreen. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't uh, turn on my camera here and get this, uh, get these get this web page displaying on some actual devices. So this is a little 7 inch mini uh, tablet. Uh, it's a Nexus 7 and you can see that the uh, yeah we got our tablet design working on here and in landscape. So basic four promo boxes side by side. Now if I go over to the old iPod Touch which obviously should be very similar to an iPhone layout find the uh, five flexible boxes layout and now we have our vertical orientation of the promo boxes so one on top of the other and that would be its look in a smartphone or iPod